Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, family and friends, to Testimony Tuesday. Today, I have a testimony that I would love to share with you about Jesus being my father. But first, I want to read this scripture to you. And it's taken from 2 Corinthians 6, verse 18. But I'm going to back up a little bit to the end of verse 17. And it says, And I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. So today I just want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for being my father and not only in the spiritual sense that i belong to him because he 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 gave his love to me behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god not just in that sense the spiritual sense but also in the natural sense that he is my father Amen. So um, for years, I had always desired the love of a father. I always felt empty, you know, because I didn't grow up with my dad. And I did not have that kind of relationship with him. I didn't get to see him often. So we didn't have that kind of relationship. And so... Um, even though I know that he loved me, um, that was not enough. It, it really left me with a lot of emptiness, you know, and still just desiring that father's love, a father figure in my life. And so um, I remember some years back, I was attending this church and the pastor of this church, I would always admire his relationship with his children you could just see the love you know there and the way he spoke about them i just you know admired that and subconsciously i would say like i desire that like i wasn't even aware at the time okay some years later as the lord was working on me he showed me how my admiring that was that I desired that, you know, for myself. And so, um, even while I was there, you know, I looked at him as a father figure, you know, in the spiritual sense, you know, I, I felt that kind of, like he was being a father, okay? Um, so, I would look to him like that. So, we were there attending that church for a time and then... We had to move on. And so um, I noticed that I missed that just because of what it was doing for me, you know. And so as I continue to seek the Lord, as I continue to seek him and just seek that father's, wanting that father's love, but I kept looking, looking for it like from someone, you know, that you'd put someone in my life that would be that or... I would say, you know, Lord, just restore that relationship with my dad so I can have that, you know, to feel that emptiness that's there concerning, a, um, you know, that father's love. And so um, time passed by and I would observe my husband with, with our girls, you know, how they have that um relationship and this little girl in me would desire that desire that kind of you know bond and the affection he displayed to them you know the love of a father you know how he commune he communicated with them interacted with them played with them you know um I desired that, the little girl in me, you know, desired that subconsciously. Again, I was not even aware until sometime, I think um, early last year, the Lord showed, 
showed that unfolded that that you know there's that need desiring me you know for father's love still seeking that father's love but it's you know from a from a human being not him and so at the time he did put someone in my life that that was standing as a father and so I felt like some healing was taking place in me and and then it got to the point where I began to seek after the Lord I say Lord all this is good but now I want you to be my father I want you to bring that satisfaction that I'm feeling I want you to feel that emptiness that void that is there I don't want someone else to meet that need. I just want you, Lord. I just want you meet that need, that need of a father. You know, I, I really began to seek him out and cry out to him once that was revealed. And I want to tell you, I want to testify that 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 emptiness, you know, that desire, that longing that was there, you know, for a father's love from someone you know a father figure the lord jesus christ himself has filled that feel that desire feel that void he has healed me the brokenness that was there that was causing me to seek it because of what i didn't get and i was still wanting you know holding on to you know what i didn't get and so i could not um, receive what he was wanting to give me because I was still looking you know behind me but he was wanting me to look ahead of me look you know to now this place that I am that he can do what I needed him to do for me and so as I as he called me to himself and I drew near to him and he drew near to me it just really um, caused me to put off all these things, you know, that I was looking to, like people to be that father figure. It took, you know, it um, made way so that he could be that to me. So I just want to encourage you, if you are going through this, you, um, your relationship with your father is broken you never had a relationship with your father you know you have a father and that's all that it is and you are broken you are empty and you're still seeking a father's love and you're seeking it through through things through um others i want to tell you that the lord jesus christ is able to feel that brokenness the lord jesus christ is able to heal the brokenness of your heart He's able to fill you and bring that contentment and satisfaction that no human being can give to you. He can be whoever you need him to be. What do you need him to be right now? What do you need him to be? Do you need him to be your doctor, your physician, your counselor? What do you need him to be? He is available to be who you need him to be in your life but it requires you to put away you know the things put away things and um and people that you look to to be what he's supposed to be to you first and foremost yes he put people in our lives yes but they must not take up the place of the Lord Jesus Christ. He must be the closest friend to you. He must be um, your husband first before you can have an, a husband, earthly husband. He must be your provider. He must be the one who, who leads you. He must be everything in your life first before, you know, others so um get that right because that's what that verse but some verses prior to that talk about that where he was telling them to put away their idols and um 
Listen, and do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. There's different instructions that he was giving them and he was saying, then I will receive you and I will be a father unto you. So um, in order for him to play his role, play his part, there's things that are required of us. There are steps that are required of us. So we must we must obey and put off the things that we put before him, the people that we put before him, whatever the case may be. You know it, put it off and let him be to you a father, that father figure that you desire. And if your father has passed on, he can still be a father to you. You, know, you may say, yes, I had a great relationship with my father and he has passed on, but he can be a father to you even now you know so whatever the case may be the situation he can be a father he can replace what you have lost amen so anyway god bless you and i pray that this testimony has been a blessing to you be encouraged and remember continue loving jesus and he loves you and i love you see you next time bye